Like and subscribe if you want a chance to win a free Santa Paws. Yo, how's it going? We're on Pet Simulator X, and I'm going to be showing you the best method, the best glitch ever to get the huge festive cat. Okay, this method is most definitely the best way of doing it, and I am currently using this method, all right? Uh, I stopped grinding, but then I'm back into it, and this is the method I'm definitely going to still use. And it's still not patched. I made a video about this, like, a few weeks ago, or whenever it was, and it's still not patched. So, hey, that's pretty epic. So, make sure you use this glitch, because it's... It's pretty flipping good and hopefully Preston one day can patch this because you know obviously I mean it's a glitch we we do want it patched but if if he's not patching it we might as well use it all right that's the way I think about it anyway so make sure you leave a like subscribe comment down below and uh yeah I just want I do want to say this glitch isn't guaranteed you'll get one it just it increases your chances so much of getting one and it's just twice as fast so first of all make sure you claim your rewards because these boosts they really 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 do matter especially with the triple damage and triple coins and all that also vip gifts definitely if you've got vip of course so what you want to do is make sure that you go to the Christmas event, okay? Now, like I said, I have shown this glitch off before in one of my previous videos, but so many people ask me the best method and stuff, so I guess I might as well just show it again because there's always new players coming to the game. So go over to your auto settings, all right? Now, this is what I have. Just because if you are an end game player, your inventory will get filled up so quickly, especially if you're doing this overnight. So I actually have it so I only get exclusive pets. Now, what this means is, is everything gets deleted apart from exclusive. So if I hatched a huge festive cat, it, I would get it. But if I hatch a mythic, legendary, epic, all of those, I will, it will be automatically deleted. So my inventory won't fill up because if you don't know when your inventory fills up, you stop hatching eggs. And then, yeah, it, it, it's annoying. So make sure you do that if you are an in-game player or maybe you can even have mythic still uh, enabled. I just don't because my inventory is pretty much full of mythics. I mean, I hate to flex, but like it's it's ridiculous, okay? But right, you want to press... Okay, first of all, make sure you've got your boosts on. Like I said, these are very important. So go to the exclusive shop and then scroll down. So make sure you activate your boosts. I'll just do this. I'm not planning to go AFK for a while, so I'll just do one of each. But obviously, if you plan on going AFK overnight, you want to make sure that you've got them for a long time. And then what you can do is go to the... Oh, no, actually, sorry. Oh, well, bring up the teleport menu and look for tech entry so there's tech entry and then click x this way just makes it so much easier so then oh yeah you need um <laughs> i completely forgot to mention you need auto hatch which is 150 uh but yeah 150 robux i just found out it's 150 robux it's actually the cheapest game pass and if you're i mean you know if you're an end game player i mean you know you, you need auto hatch all right so yeah just turn on auto hatch make sure you've got it so free so there's free hatching at a time now, obviously because of your boosts you're going to be getting a lot of the of the good pets i've definitely got auto lit off right yeah i do okay i was worried that my finger was going to fill up so while it's auto hatching obviously all these pets for me are actually being deleted which is nice so that my inventory isn't getting filled up while you are auto hatching go to the teleport button and because we made it so the tech entries there it's just an easy thing so click tech entry go to tech entry and you'll notice you will be still hatching eggs while you teleport can you see this folks i'm still hatching eggs i'm not hacking all right don't report me well i mean i mean you, you could report me because technically i'm breaking the rules right i'm glitching but please don't report me <laughs> but anyway yeah uh just basically the, you hatch it it's honestly ridiculous how long this glitch has been in the game i don't i don't at this point i don't think preston cares i honestly don't think he cares uh but yeah basically you're still hatching eggs when you teleport and then you go over to the chest, basically. Like, you can still move around. Like, I'm still, you know, you can still play. Just run over to the tech entry chest and just put your best pets on. Obviously, make sure you've got your best pets equipped so you can do the most damage. And with triple damage, it's going to make it so it goes even faster. So, as you can see. Now, oh, yeah. Also, what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got, like, an auto clicker or, I don't know, or some sort of way to make sure that you're always clicking the chest. Now, that can be like a, uh, I don't know, I mean, an auto clicker, I guess. I can't really think of another way you could do that. Like a, you could make a robot <laughs> as a school project or something that clicks your mouse. I have no idea. But yeah, I have it set to every second on mine. So I just click every second. So you just literally you just sit here every second and then look, it will break. I'm not, I'm not touching mouse and keyboard. It should set my pets on it yeah so my pets just got set on it and now 
I'm still hatching, so yeah. One thing that's uh, really good is obviously is you're going to be farming coins and opening at the same time. So it's basically twice as fast. What most people do is they farm like overnight and then they spend the next day, they spend the next day opening eggs because opening eggs, it, it takes just as long as flipping farming the coins. I swear to God, it takes hours and hours to earn, uh, to open like billions worth of coins. It, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. And if you've got triple da uh, triple coins and triple damage, you should just be getting enough, depending on your pet damage, uh, compared to the, what is it, the, uh, the how much it costs to open the eggs. Because obviously you're spending coins as you're doing it. Oh, it's got Santa Paul's there, but it's actually going to be deleted, rip. But uh, yeah, let me deactivate that. Okay, I've, I no longer got it on. So how do you stop it? So this is something that's kind of annoying about this glitch is how do you stop the eggs from hatching so you can either restart your game or you can go on the teleporter again on the teleporter and scroll down basically you want to go back to the Christmas event it's kind of annoying because you have to keep doing this oh there we go Christmas event and then when once you get teleported to the Christmas event it's like that it should stop I'm not quite sure why it stops but it does but I guess because the eggs here or something it like triggers it but yeah that is how you stop it. That's how you do the glitch. One thing I'd really recommend too. I mean, obviously this costs Robux, so you don't have to, but it really is like a game changer. Uh, so let me go over here in terms of getting coins. And it's this new game pass. I can't even remember what it's called. Well, it's not even new anymore. It came out like two weeks ago or something. Um, but yeah, Super Magnet new super magnet grab coins and loot bags from anywhere okay so before you'd break a chest and your loot bags would scatter like on each side so this side that side and the side over there and also they would stack inside the chest which is really annoying because this chest just spawns back really quickly so you'd have barely any time to actually get the loot bags but yeah if you have some spare robux and you play the game a lot Definitely make sure you buy the super magnet because that is, it's beautiful. Like I'll sit here and I won't even need to do anything um, because obviously the, the bags will just fly to me. And what's good about the loot bags and loot boxes is they also give you boosts, which is pretty good. So if you AFK overnight with boosts on, you'll probably profit of boosts because of the loot bags that you get. They're like you'll end up getting more than what you used originally, which is pretty cool. Oh wait, there we go. Beautiful. All the coins, all the loot bags, everything comes to you. The only thing that's bad is this chest is on like a, a podium with stairs all around, as you can see. And the loot bags do get stuck every now and then. So if you stand like here, they'll typically, they'll get stuck in this area here, like where I'm standing. They'll get st stuck on this bit. Sometimes they get stuck on the stairs. Same with this side. It's kind of annoying. And I've not really found a way to fix that. Just the way I do it is I just make sure that I stand as close to the chest as possible on like a corner. If you stand here or like too close, they get stuck on the stairs. So I try and tend to go on a corner. Obviously, it doesn't really matter too much because every time the chest respawns, it like chooses a different angle. But I just try and sit in a corner like this. And you'll notice when you come back, if you, I mean, if you manage to successfully AFK overnight, your bags, they'll still be there. There'll still be bags stacked on each side. And you actually just, just click the space bar and you can collect them all. But yeah, that is one downfall. They do sometimes stack. Because obviously they're trying to get to you because you've got the game pass. And they like get stuck on this edge. If you have it, you'll know what I mean. But yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I don't know if there's any more tips that I have. And I think just to keep being patient, I've never actually hatched one myself, but I definitely know this is definitely the best way of doing it. Uh, and it, it honestly, it's all about luck. I know people who have hatched like three, which is absolutely insane compared <laughs> when I think about how many eggs I've hatched. So yeah, it, it, it really is all about luck. And I believe it's less than like 1% chance. So if you don't get one, don't be, don't be too mad because I'm pretty sure majority of people don't even have one. So... It's all good, all right? We can all cry until we end up getting one ourselves, uh, if that even happens anyway. But yeah, I appreciate you. Actually, wait, let me just quickly check. How many are in the game real quick? 
How many are in the game? I, I think there was like... Is there nearly 10,000 now? Oh, no. 9,641. The numbers slow down, I feel like. Like, it, it, it was jumping like crazy, but then it just, like, kind of stopped. That is, uh... Oh, I went on the wrong thing. That's weird, but yeah. Hopefully we can get one. 